Hello and welcome to my channel where we talk about how you can live your best life and be your best version. My name is Behroz and in this video I will talk about whether Audible subscription is worth it or not. Now before we go in the details let me quickly talk about what Audible is for those of you who are not familiar with Audible. Audible is a monthly subscription service by Amazon which provides access to the world's largest library of audio books. Now a short and simple answer to whether Audible subscription is worth it or not is that it is worth every penny and every cent. So in this video, I explain and substantiate why I make that claim. Now, before going through the list of arguments, let me just quickly share with you the pricing on Audible. Now, the pricing that I'll share in this video is more relevant to the US market. However, the relativity would be same for other markets as well, given the conversion rates for different currencies. There are three main monthly subscription options, plus an option to pay annually and get a discount on those three subscriptions. The first and most basic subscription option is called Audible Plus, which is for $7.95 US dollars per month, which allows you to borrow unlimited number of books from Amazon Plus catalog. These titles are referred as Audible Originals and are exclusive to the Audible platform. So you won't find these books on any other platform, but on Audible. Now, while you can listen to as many books as possible from the Amazon Original catalog, you need to keep in mind that this catalog only has around 11,000 books. So hence it doesn't contain and you cannot borrow every audio book that is available in the Audible library. However, given 11,000 books in the Audible Plus catalog, you are sure to find some books that you would love to listen and enjoy. The second and most famous subscription option is the Audible Premium Plus, which is for 14.95 US dollars per month, which for starters, just like Audible Plus, allows you to listen to any book that is available in the Audible Plus catalog. However, in this plan, you will get one credit per month, which you can use to exchange any audiobook within the Audible catalog, no matter what the cost. So essentially, the key difference is that you get to choose to use your credit against any book that is available in the Audible catalog, and you get to keep that book forever. The third plan is also Audible Premium Plus, where you get instead of one credit, two credits, but for $22.95. So essentially, you are getting the extra credit on a discounted price. Again, you can use these two credits to exchange against any audiobook within the entire Audible library. Now coming to the key reasons why I say that Audible subscription is worth every penny and cent. So first and foremost, if you're an Audible member and you have subscribed to Audible Premium Plus, where you get a credit, for use every month and you use that credit every month. In that case, you will save money very quickly. So the price of an audio book on Audible ranges from 10 to $30. However, most of the books, the famous ones or the ones that you will enjoy are $20 and above, which means getting a credit on monthly basis for 14.95 saves you money. So another benefit here is that you can roll over your credit to next month. So in case there is a month where you cannot make use of your Audible credit to listen to an audio book, you can move it over to next month where you will have now two credits and you can make use of two credits to exchange versus an audio book. So these credits that you get on monthly basis are not lost, rather they're just rolled over for you to use them later. Hence, there is no pressure on you to listen to an audiobook every month. Rather, you can collect these credits and roll them over month after month. Thirdly, in case you want to listen to more than one audiobook per month, in case you are an Audible member and have subscribed to the subscription service, in that case, you can buy more books, but this time you can buy them at 30% or more discount. Hence, in my case, I tend to use the Audible credit for more expensive books in the Audible library. And once I've done listening to that audiobook within the month, and I have still more time before the new credit comes in, I can go and select a cheaper book from the Audible library and still buy it at a 30% discount. Beyond this, you also get access to Audible daily deals. A new and different audiobook is released on a discount every single day. So essentially, as I said, this is for Audible members who have used up their credit before the end of the month and they don't want to upgrade their subscription service. And hence, they can make use of these discounted books and purchase them at a discounted price. Another key benefit that not many are aware of is that you can use your Audible credit to purchase a box set. Just type box set in the Audible search and you can browse through romance, fantasy, sci-fi box sets. Because now you're not getting just one book, rather you're getting a set of books, you can easily get 30 to 40 hours of listening by using only one credit. Now, another benefit is that if you stumble over a good book that you want to listen later, you can put it in your wish list. And whenever there is a deal that may come in the books that are in your wish list, Audible will send you a notification and that way you will know that there is a certain book that you always wanted to read and now it's on a discounted deal and hence you can go in your wish list and purchase that particular book on a deal. So in essence, Audible is sending notification and reminding you that your favorite books are now discounted and hence this is the right time for you to make a purchase. 
Now, one feature of Audible that gives the most value for your money is its amazing refund policy. You can return simply any audiobook, an audiobook that you've not opened, an audiobook that you've listened partially, and an audiobook that you've completely listened. You can still go ahead and return it. Once you return or refund the audiobook, you get one credit back that you initially used to purchase that particular audiobook. Now, because of this generous refund policy, you can go ahead and refund or return multiple audiobooks. Now, in case someone ends up misusing this feature and refunds a particular audiobook multiple times, which is approximately more than six times, this feature will get blocked. And if now you want to return that particular audio book, you'll have to call the Audible helpline and get it refunded by talking to a representative and explaining to them why so many times you've been refunding and returning this particular book and you want to get another refund. Now, because of this awesome return and refund policy, you don't need to be choosy and picky with regards to which audio book you pick or purchase. You can simply try one particular audio book. If you don't like it, you can return, get your credit back and try another one. Hopefully, after returning an audiobook or two, you will find the one that you really enjoy and will stick to it. Hence, unlike any other bookstore, I am assured that if I don't pick up the right audiobook, I can always go ahead and return it and get the right one that I want. So much so that you don't have to instantly return that particular audiobook. Rather, you can return it after a couple of weeks or months. There have been instances where I purchased a particular audiobook. It has been in my library for a couple of weeks. And later when I went back and realized, oh, I purchased this particular audiobook but never listened to it. And even if I did listen to it, I didn't like it. And I'll go ahead and return that particular audiobook and get my credit back. Now, another great feature is that you can simply cancel your Audible subscription whenever you feel like. This process is extremely straightforward and simple. Now, one way of doing it is to put your account on hold, which is something that you can do once every 12 months. And you can put your account on hold for one to maximum of three months. And hence, you won't be charged monthly subscription and won't be getting your monthly credits. However, you can still access your library and make use of the credits that were already available to you. Now, in case you want to cancel the Audible subscription altogether, all you need to do is just go on the Audible account on the desktop, head to account details page, and then click on cancel membership, which is underneath view membership details. Once you do that, you'll get an automated email sent by Audible confirming your cancellation. Now, one question that is usually asked is that what happens to your library if you cancel your Audible membership? Well, nothing happens to your library. Your library will remain intact and you can access all the books that you previously purchased or saved into your Audible library and continue to listen to them. Now, when it comes to unused credits, it's best to make use of those credits before you go ahead and cancel your membership. Otherwise, they'll simply go to waste. In case you want to recover them, you'll have to call up the Audible help service and connect to a representative and ask them for the recovery of those lost credits. Lastly, in case you decide to restart your Audible membership, all you need to do is go on your account's detail page. There you will need to confirm if your billing information is correct. Once that is done, you become a member of Audible once again, where you'll be charged the monthly membership and you start getting those monthly credits going forward. Another good thing about Audible is that given you're paying for the monthly subscription, there are no ads, which simply means that your audiobook experience is completely free of distractions. Another key benefit apart from the audiobooks that Audible provides is that it provides you access to a huge number of podcasts for which you even don't need to start the subscription. Rather, you can use your Amazon account and go on Audible and start listening to the free podcasts that are available. Another feature of Audible membership is that you can catch up on top newspaper in publication. This primarily include the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, and many others. You can simply download them with no extra cost involved. So now the summary and the final verdict, in case you have 14.95 US dollars to spare, go for it. I think it's really hard to resist the sheer value that Audible offers. The service, the huge library, and the low cost that Audible provides makes it worth it for any book lover. I'm an Audible member myself and have utilized and maximized my credits and discounts on books for countless hours of immersive listening. And above all, I've listened to more audiobooks than ever before just because of sheer convenience of listening to an audiobook while doing something else. Now, even after listening to this video, in case you're still on the fence, my advice to you is to go for a 30 day free trial, pick a book of your choosing and listen to it and try it for yourself. During this trial, you will get one credit against which you can purchase any audiobook of your choosing 
Also, you'll have access to Audible Plus catalog. And in case you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, then you'll get two credits instead of one during your free trial period. And goes without saying that at any point in time during your trial period, you can cancel your plan or upgrade your plan as you wish. You are free to cancel your trial period anytime and you even get to keep the books that you've already purchased. You have simply nothing to lose, rather a free book to gain against the credit that will be offered during the 30-day free trial. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully by now you would be convinced that Audible is the right thing for you. In case you like the video, please don't shy away from pressing the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you get notified as soon as I put a new content out there. Thanks for watching.